Hello, dear students. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a new lecture. In this lecture, we're going to start with the grammar lesson, the past perfect tense. Let's start with the uses. When do I use the past perfect tense? The first situation, when I want to express an action that began and ended before a point of time in the past. So remember, it's all happening in the past. And when it's perfect means it started and ended before a specific point in time. For example, by 6 p.m., so by that time, which means before this time, I had already finished my homework. So this is the action. I had already finished my homework. This action had already started and ended before this point in time. So this means that the action had already been done before six o'clock, so we use the past perfect tense. And I want to note you that we use at with the past progressive when I'm talking about an action that took place at a specific point in time or was taking place at a specific point in time, but we use by with the past perfect tense. So again, I do not say at 6 p.m. I say by this time, by 6 p.m. So before that, I have done that action. So again, the first usage for the past perfect tense is to express an action that began and ended before a specific point in time. Now we move on to the second usage. The second case in which I use the past perfect tense is when I want to express an action that also began and ended, but I'm not expressing it in terms of a specific point in time, but in terms of another action. So when I want to express an action that began and ended before another action in the past. So it's like the past in the past. Both actions are taking place in the past, but one of them started and ended before the other. For example, before the police arrived, so before this action that took place in the past simple, here is the past perfect, the thief had already escaped. So he had already escaped, so or she, so that we do not be sexist. The thief had already escaped, which means this action here is or started and ended before this action, okay? So here we have two actions that are both, both taking place in the past or that both took place in the past, but one happened first, which is written in the past perfect tense. Here, this happened first before this, okay? So the thief, for example, managed to escape before the police arrived. So managing to escape or escaping is the action I am expressing in the past perfect tense. So we write that action in the past perfect tense. And the other action should be written in the past simple. Arrived, police arrived, okay? So again, the second usage is to express here an action that started and ended before another action in the past. So one of them is in the past perfect and the other is in the past simple. And now we move on to the third and last usage is when I want to describe cause and effect relationship. For example, when I'm saying, I got stuck in traffic because there had been an incident, for example. So here, a specific incident started and ended, and after that, okay, so let's continue. Let me share my screen again. Sorry, because my the Zoom just kicked us out. So we're going to continue from where we stopped. So here we were saying that the third usage is to express the cause-effect relationship. Again, I got stuck in the traffic because there had been an incident, okay? Now, here is a sum up for the usages. Just give me a second. All right, so here's a sum up for the three usages. I use the past perfect tense 
to describe an action that finished before another action or before a specific point in time or to describe cause and effect relationship. Now, what's the form? So when I am using the past perfect tense, how do I form it? Uh, first, we have the subject. Then I should have had, then the past participle of the verb. For example, Richard, this is the subject, had gone. Had, I always use had, and then gone is the past participle of the verb go. So remember, go, went, gone. So for the past perfect tense, I need to memorize for irregular verbs, the past participle, okay? Not the past simple. So I say, Richard had gone out when his wife arrived. Or I got stuck in the traffic because there had been an incident. Had plus been. Been is the past participle of verb be. Okay. Again, Christine, which is the subject, had never been. Never here because it's negative. Okay. So had and been again. Had and the past participle of the, the verb. Okay. So to form the past perfect tense, I write subject had plus the past participle of the verb. Now, what are the time expressions that we use to express the time in which this action took place in the past perfect tense? Sorry, here it's past perfect tense. So we use always, never, for, since, before, after, when, so, if, and until. All these are time expressions which I can use to express the time in which this action took place in the past perfect tense. For example, she had met, realize here the form had plus met, which is met, the past participle of verb meet. She had met him before the party, okay? Because I'm expressing something that started and ended before another action. He had played football until last week, until this specific point in time. We weren't able to stay overnight at the hotel since we had not reserved our room in advance. Here, remember the third usage to express a cause-effect relationship, so I can use since, all right? Now, you have to know the following. It's very common for the past perfect to be used when the expressions by or by the time is used to express an action that took place before a certain point of time or a certain action. So what I'm trying to say is that in addition to the previous time expressions, we also use by or by the time to express this action that started and ended before a certain point of time or before a certain action. The mid-sentence adverbs, for example, already, just, ever, and never, these are adverbs that I write in the middle of the sentence, the mid-sentence, okay? Are often used with the past perfect tense. So these adverbs are also used in the past perfect tense. For example, when I say by midnight, all the roads had already flooded. So by midnight, I'm expressing also the time. So I use it to express this action in the past perfect tense. Or after I had spent hours on the internet, I decided to log off because of my headache. So after, this is an adverb, as I said, that we use in the past perfect tense. And in the previous slide, we saw here never we said this is an adverb that we use in the middle of the sentence also to express the past perfect tense, okay? Ever and never and just and already. Now, how do I form affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms in the past perfect tense or inter affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences in the past perfect tense? First of all, the affirmative is the basic form of any simple sentence, the subject, Okay, then we have had plus the past participle of the verb, then the rest of the sentence. So she had finished the test. Okay, she had finished the test before the time ended. 
for example. So she is the subject, had and finished. This is the form, the main form as we presented before. Had plus the past participle of the verb. And I write the rest of the sentence. Now, when I want to make it into the negative form, I just add not. Where do I add not? I add it between had and the past participle. So I say, I had not finished, okay? Which can also be written and read in terms of hadn't. So I had not, or she had not finished the test before the time ended, okay? Now interrogative, which is also the question form. I start with the verb had. So you see here subject then had in the question I switch them. So I start with had, then the subject, then the past participle. And for sure, I do not have not in the question. So I say, had she finished the test? Okay, had plus the subject plus the past participle of the verb I have, then the rest of the sentence. And for sure, do not forget to have the question mark by the end of your question. All right. Now here we have practice questions to practice what you have learned. This is a very straightforward and a simple lesson. In the first part, you have to write one sentence for each of the uses of the past perfect tense. So write one sentence to express an action that started and ended before a specific point in time in the past. Write another sentence to express an action that started and ended before a specific action in the past and write a sentence to express a cause effect relationship using the past perfect tense okay next in the in the other part part b you have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in brackets okay now in this question we aren't only practicing on the past sim, uh, past perfect we have past simple past progressive and past perfect because we covered past simple and past progressive before the past perfect so Last summer, I, we have venture on a mountain trekking trip with a group of school friends. We, verb to be, chaperoned by a mountain climbing expert. He, again, verb to be, very helpful and verb make, sure, none of us, verb get, heard, etc. So I would leave this for you to answer it. And in part C, this is here, three, four, and five. This is also part of section B. Now, section C, you have one and only one grammatical mistake in each sentence. You have to correct this grammatical mistake. So in the first sentence, it says, at midnight, I had already reached home. Remember, do I say at midnight or what do we say? And the second one, by the time the police had arrived, the thief had already escaped. The third, the third one, he had not speaking to his parents about the, this issue before. And the last one, had they ate junk food before they got food poisoning? This is a question. Okay, now I want you to take your own time to solve them and next you will have the answer key. So here is how it goes. I would like to remind you that in this question, we are putting the verb either in the past simple or past progressive or past perfect. So let's see how it goes. Last summer, I'm talking about a specific point in the past. So I use past simple. I say I ventured on a mountain trekking trip with a group of school friends. We were, because I'm still talking in the past last summer. So we, plural, we were chaperoned by a mountain climbing expert. He was very helpful and made, again, because we're still in the past simple, made sure none of us got hurt, okay? Now, while my friend was trying to cross the road, here was, it shouldn't be were, friend or friends. So with friends, I write were, with friend, it would be was. So while my friend was trying to cross the road, a car suddenly appeared from nowhere and almost hit her. She was in shock for at least half an hour, she did not understand how it happened. By the time the firefighters arrived, so remember by the time, now we, we know from this expression that we are using past perfect tense. So by the time this action happened in the past, what happened before? The fire had 
already deferred the whole house. So had and deferred, which is the past participle. And we said we use already, which is an adverb, okay? Now at 7.30 PM, Greg had lunch with his best friend at McDonald's. By the time he reached his house, his house, okay? His parents had already left. So again, by the time this action in the past, before it, his parents had already left, had already plus the past participle of the verb leave. For the wedding, they were invited to. He was disappointed to miss the event. Now, had you seen how he jumped in last night's diving competition? So had, because it's in the question form, I start with verb had, then I have the subject and seen, which is the past participle, how he jumped in last night's diving competition, okay? Now, by this slide, our session comes to an end. I hope everything was clear. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask me on my email, amahsen.iskolai.gmail.com. And have a nice day.